what it is y'all what's up this bit of amelia is in the cut don't know the rest of the words and i always started but never know how to finish it gotta get it together hey you guys this is your girl this bit amelia back again with another 50 oh i hope you all are having a blessed week and i found multiple things to be grateful for Okay, today is Wednesday. Literally, just where I ended that last vlog is where I'm starting this first one. I'm getting ready to accompany... Ooh, almost had a burp. <laughs> to a... Did have a burp. Getting ready to accompany my mom. Today, we're having a little girl's day. But it is crazy cold, and I'm trying to find a way to be cute and be warm. To be quite honest, I would rather just be warm. But my mom wanted me to, you know, to look nice. I'm following her around today, but we're gonna see how that works out because it's chilly outside. Georgia doesn't know whether it wants to be a fall or winter. Like, I'm looking outside and all the leaves are just falling so pretty, so nice. But it's about 30 degrees outside, so I'm gonna need them to get it together. We jumped from summer to winter, and I did not sign up for that at all. I'm gonna try to be like semi casual, cute because it's chilly and I cannot stand the cold. So we'll see what I do. I'm gonna turn this off and stop playing and get myself ready because we're supposed to leave at 9 30. It's 8 33 right now. Gotta get it together, so I'll see y'all soon. Okay? Hey guys, so we just finished running errands and now we're at my favorite place. We're in Juicy Crab. <laughs> Say hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. <laughs> Hello guys, hi. Hi, we're here. Isn't their sweater so cute? Because <laughs> I'm about to wear it. <laughs> so we're waiting on our food. So excited to... <laughs> Haven't been to Juicy Crab since my birthday. Since June, and it's almost next year. So I'm excited. Glory. What's your right now? The Hungry Feast. Mommy got calamari and fries and we're waiting on some rice. Love ya. <laughs> okay, bye. So we obviously Ooh. finished eating our food and we came into TJ Maxx and just for November, but obviously mm -hmm. it is Christmas. Okay. <laughs> Christmas season is here. <laughs> Why she gotta be so loud? It's my mama. So exciting. I love Christmas time. I'm also looking for a planner. The planner I have now only goes to the month of December. So I'm gonna see if I can find something. But there's a bunch of Christmas stuff. And I'm absolutely obsessed with Christmas. Absolutely obsessed with ornaments. We're trying to look for a black Santa bear. I'm gonna check out some planners. This is cute too. A little cup, a little spoon with Santa's reindeer in it. That's crazy cute. I actually really like this. Mom, look at that. It's six dollars. Oh, Jesus. I'm already breaking stuff. All right, we're gonna find a planner. <laughs> Y'all look at my section. Every year I like hunt for a new planner and just because I'm not in school doesn't mean I don't get my plan on because I definitely do. Regardless of if I'm in school or not. This is so cute. It's like you can put letters on your desk. This is really nice. I like it. And there's a smaller one. Okay, now let's go through these for planners. Okay. So we have four things to choose from. <laughs> she doesn't like being on the camera. <laughs> so we have four things to choose from. All of these are basically the same. These two are the same. You're not. Li you have to listen so you can help me pick. Mm -hmm. She's gone. So these two are the same. This is basically the same thing, but the things are different. They have like colors. But in these ones, they have like motivational quotes. Like choose your own path. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. They have more of those on this one. And this one is more of like, 
print and stuff but I really love the motivational quotes a lot better so I guess I'm choosing between these two and this is like I don't know I always have my planner but then I never bring it because it's too big to fit in my bag mm -hmm. so I was looking at this too but I don't like the mini one unless I get like it together but that wouldn't really make much sense but it says hello 2020 and then this I can write whatever I want on it like self affirmations and this is ten dollars it was really cute and then the front was nice it said girls should be two things who and what she wants but yeah so I'm choosing between these two eeny weeny my no I'm just kidding <laughs> we found black Santa y'all Black Santa's here with his salt and pepper beard. And he in the front. Okay. He's in the front. Come on, Black Santa. Go off. Hey guys, so I'm back home. I have like a hanger on my door. Okay, so that's why clothes are sitting right there. They're not just sitting right there for no reason. So let me tell you how the devil was really trying to work today this is not one of my dramatic stories but the devil is really trying to prevent my blessings today this is adjacent to the planners that i just showed you guys so neither of those two planners work actually 2020 the one that had the gold 2020 on the side was the winner and then I was heading back towards the front of the store with all the Christmas stuff that you guys saw and there was like one section with like a bunch of UGA stuff everywhere and I saw like in the corner like behind all the UGA stuff while I was passing by the aisle like some books I love a good book okay so I went over to check and those books just so happened to be planners Okay, they weren't in the planner section and those planners had on them 2020 12 month Christian planner on the sticker on top of the planners. So I'm like, why weren't these planners in the planner section? The devil is trying to steal my blessings away. He didn't want me to have Christ as a part of my 2020. But guess what? <laughs> you did not win. I found them. And I'm getting them together. So basically, I went through these planners that were hidden. I found the one that I liked. And this says, he counts the stars and calls them all by name. Okay. And it has like a whole bunch of silver stars on it. It's really beautiful. This was $10 at Home Goods. Same design as 2020 and the master plan. Only difference is the separators for each month they have like scriptures bible verses instead of inspirational quotes which a good word is way better than an inspirational quote okay and then on the top of every page it also has another scripture for the week i know you can't see that it's in fine print but it has another little scripture for the week so the devil tried to hide these from me but guess what devil i found them and my 2020 is going to be blessed whoa was that a tremble i don't know what happened with that bless my 2020 is going to be blessed regardless of whatever plan i'm going to be using because god is always a part of my life but i'm glad i found these i have no idea why home goods like separated the christian planners from all the rest of the other planners if i wasn't interested in looking around the store i would have bought the other one and would have completely missed this like it was nowhere near the other planners it was actually hidden in the position that it was with a bunch of other ones just like this but with like different prints and colors and i'm glad that i got the bible quote one because this was my planner for this year really simple greenery you know i love the greenery and it says i can do all things through him who gives me strength i can do all things through christ which strengthens me okay go ahead and put his name on it so this one has go to an empty page this one has um bible verses on top of each week as well so that's a big help y'all look how packed my weeks used to be okay am i a weirdo to say i miss this <laughs> because i do i thought look at look at this madness Look at that madness. These are just notes. These are my actual schedule. Am I a weirdo to say I miss it? Because I do. I miss it. But guess what? 
God's willing, this 2020 book is going to be just as packed and productive when it comes to my future. I'm not starting these resolutions in 2020. We've been starting them, okay? We've been trying to plan this future, all right? I'm just really happy that I got this book. I actually really love this planner and I love how it looks. And I'm a Stara, so the Stara of all Staras, the Stara maker, the star maker actually calls me by name. So I'm very glad that I saw this and thank God that I saw it. But yeah, that's the planner I went with just in case you guys were wondering. I also got the board where I can put different things on it. Um, it comes with letters, the letters are in the back and I can write any kind of saying that I want on here. So I'm super deep pretty excited to use this just as a reminder i wanted to use it as affirmations um maybe i like post it up somewhere while i'm doing videos who knows who knows what i'm gonna do but i just wanted to check in with you guys and i'll see you all when i see you next okay <laughs> bye Hey y'all, today is Thursday the 14th. I tried to show you guys a little bit of my workout routine, but I literally started working out and I almost felt like I was about to throw up. So I'm gonna chill out. I haven't worked out probably in a week or so because I had my period and I try to limit the amount of exercise I have on my period because I'm very prone to passing out um, during that time of the month and any extra exercise or fitness during that time I try to limit it. I tried to get back on it today but I almost felt like I was about to throw up um, which is not a good thing. <laughs> Don't normally feel like I'm about to throw up. I think it's just because I kind of just ate probably like 20 minutes ago, but I needed to let that digest a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more. So I was editing before. I'm going to go back to editing and I'll probably work out tomorrow, but really early so nothing's on my stomach or anything because yeah that almost took me out just a while ago you guys want to see what i put on my board i'm gonna bring it in here for y'all switching hey i took off the letters yesterday and i started creating some things get that backlight out of here but i put not lucky i loved it is a song what is that man's name? Jonathan McReynolds. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot his name. It's a song by Jonathan McReynolds that my friend Kendall told me about. He suggested this song to me and as soon as I heard it, I was like, wow. I'm obsessed with this song and I'm obsessed with Jesus, so it goes well. I'm not lucky you loved. Do -do. I'm not lucky you loved. I don't know what voice that was, but yeah, that's what I have on my board for today. I'm gonna change it. Whenever I feel something come to my mind, come to my spirit, that's what I'm gonna do. But right now I have to remind myself that I'm not lucky. Anything that comes about, anything that I do, I am loved. God put that in my path. God allowed me to have the experiences and the skills to get me through whatever it is that I need to get through, um, whatever that it is that I will attain. So I need to remind myself, it's not a coincidence, it's not luck, it's not by chance. It's because God loves me, God has that destined and planned for me, okay? Hey y'all, so I just came back from an audition. I am sitting here at Ted's Montana Grill. Their homemade pickles are probably the best ever. Just like a little appetizer for you before you get your meal. And it's honestly so good. My edges are still acting good, even though it's raining outside. I'm really sitting here about to get some food. And then I'll be going to my next location. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So I'm gonna talk to you while I'm getting ready. I'm filming today. Also today is the launch of Smudge Cosmetics, the location opening. So I'm going to that right after I'm done filming. It's 9.23, I woke up like 7.30, but I'm just getting my makeup done. 
or I'm just getting ready to do my makeup. I should have been having my makeup done. Just lay my edges. I have to be on location at 11 and location is like 17 minutes away from where I live. So it's not that bad, but still. I like giving myself more time than this. You see how low I gotta put this thing so that my edges could set? I'm telling you, my edges really connect to my eyebrows. People don't believe me, but it's true. The proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the edges. Yesterday, I went to an audition. I also did a networking event. In between, I showed you guys I went to Ted's Montana Grill, which was amazing the food is really good there i already prepped my face in case you were wondering and i'm looking at a mirror which is on this side and also i blend my forehead right here and the forehead that's missing from the edges after my edges are completely set so don't come for me i don't have two different colors so i went to the audition the audition was cool or whatever and then i went to this networking event that was supposedly supposed to have agents, managers, other actors, people in the sports and entertainment industry, people who do insurance for people who are in entertainment, publicists. I met a lot of publicists. And the event that I went to was based off of diverse representation. So there were a lot of people that looked like me there, okay? I related to a lot of people that were there. They understood the struggle on multiple levels. And I appreciated that for that assembly, for that networking event. I'm really in search of an agent or manager. I've been submitting myself for a bunch of bunch of bunch of different things so god's willing that will come very soon again today i'm gonna be filming <laughs> i'm also going to the launch of smudge cosmetics i don't really know what else i should be recapping right now but that's really it i'm listening to not right now because the camera's on i have a playlist called in a sentimental mood on spotify i would say follow me on spotify but i have no idea what my username is on spotify so when i figure that out um i'll put that here in the description box below i have a couple of playlists and i want to put out more so i'm gonna listen to some tunes they're very mellow they're not hype like how i usually am because this is usually what i'm listening to in the mornings or when i'm driving or something i'm listening to mellow music to not get my blood pressure all the way up there okay this is what i'm listening to tell me something do i make you feel the way that i do i'm a Gotta keep me lit all night, they say And they say my heart will bleed But it doesn't matter to me Cause your love is so nasty Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah What if, what if, if I never knew how I'd break it up Never knew what it felt like to fall Baby, how would I know if it's tough, if it's tough I'm like singing to my mirror. <laughs> wow. Love and mess. I didn't know this one. On the playlist? Give me a run for my money. There is nobody, no one that run me. Give me a run for my money. Sipping bubbly, feeling lovely, feeling lovely. Don't. Give it all one heart. Don't got you, I got nothing. I got something. Hold up. So could you please respond to me because I'll never understand I give you the keys and why you gladly take them You don't use them eh. oh. Why won't you realize I want y'all to know that her edges <laughs> are light, okay? I just wanted you to know, okay? Hold on, let's give a, let's give a, do you, ooh, 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 wow. You love me like that, you love me like no, you love me like oh, 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 you love me like that. 
I really just came on to show y'all my edges. This is not my hair, so if you see something going up into a braid, just know it's not my hair, okay? This is my edges. I literally just laid them. If you're wondering, <laughs> no one asked. But my hair is for B. I have very low porosity, but I just put all the gel that God gave me in this hair right now. Number one, for it to lay. Number two, because I'm literally about to do a string of videos with this hair and then I'm taking it out. She is done. She is over. She is finito. I kind of want to do a review on this hair, but I kind of don't at the same time. This is my mini review. Ha! Huh? I got this from Curl Cologne. This is the Sanaya Curl. I don't remember how many inches it is, but however many inches is the longest amount of inches. That's the one I got. I've had it in for a good two months i want to say i got it for um afropunk but i got it a week before afropunk so i'll say we're hitting about two months right now yeah it's been pretty good to me i would say that the hair actually gets better with time on my first day install i was kind of sorta in love with it i didn't think that the hair would actually clump together i'll put it down later when i'm doing these videos because i just did my just it gets better with time the curls clump together i didn't think they would the hair is a little rough like it's not soft to touch it feels real synthetic even though it looks very juicy and nice it's a little rough, okay? It's basically like however you install it is gonna stay like that. Like the curl eventually comes together, but it does not stretch out. It just stays how you put it, okay? Yeah, that's kind of my basic review on the hair. Um, would I purchase from them again? Maybe, but not like for crochet hair for like a long install. I'll probably like get a bag to make a ponytail or something or to do something like that. I wouldn't get it for a whole head of hair because it's just not the texture that I'm going for. The look is beautiful. The texture looks cool, but it doesn't really feel cool. And because I'm wearing it for a long time, I would want my things to feel cool, okay? I'm about to plug my camera up because it needs some charge. I'm gonna get my face busy and then I'm gonna start filming some videos and then I'm gonna end this vlog for you guys because I know I've been going through a lot, a lot, a lot in these videos. I'll see you soon. <laughs> hey, hey. We ain't wrapped this hard in a long time. So we lie to the guys. Ain't gonna lie, y'all. Hi guys. So I just finished filming a couple of videos. Only did two. I thought I was gonna do more, but I only really have the energy to do two of those today. Now I'm gonna take my makeup off. I am going to get this hair finally out of my head. It had a great run, guys. Hold on, let me. It had an amazing run. Well, wow, let me not talk while doing that. Yeah, that's the better view of it so you guys can see what's up. All right, she looks real good. Looks real good, doesn't feel real good. But she had a great run. You know, she gave me some cute looks for the time being. I'm about to take her out and do some braids. I probably won't show you the braids in this vlog because it'll probably be in the next vlog, ha! Huh? Say bye-bye to Shirlene, to Curly Sue. I swear I give my hair like a new name every five minutes. But say bye-bye to her. Say bye-bye to this face beat. I'm kind of mad that I didn't film it, but it's pretty similar to one that I already did, so. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna finish watching a movie. I was watching Leap Year, which I've seen before, but I wanted something sappy and something to make me laugh at the same time. So while I'm taking my hair out, I'm gonna be watching that. Also, I'm gonna warm up some ribs because my mama made some ribs yesterday. And your girl be hungry, so I'm gonna do that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was probably long. I feel like I've been filming this vlog for a long time, but I hope you all enjoyed. And please let me know your favorite part in the comment box below. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. All right, bye.